All right, continuing with our piece. As you know, as you can see, the, 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 the brim of the hat and everything takes quite a while to bring it down, in other words, but that's part of, of the figure. See, that's way too thick. I'm also going to bring a little bit, take a little bit off in here. Be careful, though. You don't want to... As the brim, of course, gets thinner and thinner as you work on it, you want to be careful. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. You want to be careful not to put a whole lot of pressure on it because you, you, you can chip it. You can break it. I'm going to come back here and do the same thing. And when you get back into these areas, um, you want to, as the brim, like I said, gets thinner and thinner. You want to be careful not to overdo it, not to do, you know, more than what you should. bit more as we bring the round off the, the brim a little bit more take some away Now you can actually draw the pattern and make your brim a little bit um, thinner so you don't have to take as much wood off when you cut it out. But still, uh, if it's thin, too thin, you want, you want to be careful when you start carving on it because it, it can get uh, brittle on you. Thin this a little bit more. it more room for the the brim and we'll bring this over a little bit more bit more.
So we're going to do it a little bit, but. Okay, just like that. Take a little bit more off here. That way we can then also bring, uh, trim some of the sides of the brim off so it can get a little bit better feel for it. Just like that. Still a little bit too thick. Still got to come down a little bit. We'll come up underneath here just a little bit. And up underneath here. Thin it up in there. <clears throat> okay. You've probably gotten tired of me watching me work on this brim. But that's all part of it. Like I said, you can cut your brim a whole lot thinner and you don't have to remove as much wood, but... And the proportion of it. All right, okay, we're gonna, we'll come back to this in other words. Now what we want to do is to uh, let me come down here. Ah, I dropped my pencil. We'll come back to the brim later. We can work on that. Let me get my pencil. Let's go ahead and work on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let's separate this ear dog here from the little bit. Alright. Let's go ahead and work on this body just a little bit. Now let's go ahead and situate his arms. We'll put this one in his pocket and the other one will put hold in a gun I'm gonna cut out always make the arms a little bit bigger than they should be then I cut back on them because you can. Yeah, this arm's too big. Okay, as we as we look at that. Because we take a little bit off there, that's why I make it a little bit bigger a lot of times, because then, then I can take uh some off there. Right, we just, we've established where the arm is. That's the main thing. We've established where it's at. So we'll work on 
that also later. Now let's establish where the, the hand comes down here, or where the arms come down here, and he's uh, about right there, yeah, about where he's holding a, he'll be holding a rifle. Again, this arm is a little bit big, but we just bring it back. Let's bring this down. See, I try to, as I go along, I try to get, uh, stay a little bit even on both sides if I can. Sometimes I can't always at first. I have to wait until the very end. I'll wait until later. But I'm taking off, um, parts of that. Coming in here, like I said, we make it as deep as we possibly can so the arm will stand out. And we'll cut in between the legs a little bit. Just kind of get him rounded off a little bit. Well, not really rounded off, but I mean shaped. I, 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 the word shaped is what I'm trying to say. Of course, his hand's gonna be there, so we're gonna come up underneath here and drag our knife and give us some space for the hand and even around in here so that we have enough room for the dog or the paw or whatever you want to call it Okay, I don't know what, I think my time is just about up. All right, let's look at our figure here. We've established our, our, our lines, our marks, where we want our hands, and uh, we want our arms and all that other stuff. And it's just a matter of basically shaping the figure uh, the way we want him. Of course, here's your ears in here. I'll bring that down a little bit more. And that way, that way you can kind of get a general idea of what you want and what uh, you're going to have here. So, let's, uh, I think my time's up on this one. We've, we've made a lot of chips, let's put it that way, so far. But anyway, um, this is the Hibbley Dog. And we'll keep going. <laughs>